Hi everybody, I'm Justin Hoff from the CMU Sports Network and it's a very special night for Central Michigan University as six new members get inducted into the 2010 CMU Hall of Fame. The 27th Annual Hall of Fame class consisted of Ryan Cunningham, Dave Doherty, Jeffrey Goolsby, Steve Pung, Kerry Ross, and Tina Kenny Sally. This was truly a weekend for each of the inductees to enjoy as they were in the center of attention thanks to tremendous athletic accomplishments made throughout their careers as a Chippewa. You know, this is our biggest and best night uh, in the athletic program when we get to honor the greats who have uh, who have worn the moon and gold and uh, done such special things uh, in the fields and the courts and uh, the pools and uh, our, our venues of competition it really is a big night for these kinds of events the element of surprise usually is quite strong being recognized for such an honor is sometimes unexpected I was sitting in a coffee shop reading my mail and you know not really expecting anything like that to happen and I see this letter from Central Michigan and I open it up and I'm like, oh my God, it was really a wonderful surprise. It's something that, you know, you don't expect, especially 25 years later almost. The surprises continued even for a three-time Division I All-American. To be honest, I was quite surprised. Um, had not even realized that I was eligible at this point. So um, it was a humbling surprise and it was just a, a media honor to be included into this this year. Five-time All-America breaststroke standout Steve Pung was well aware he would have to speak to a large audience. That was okay, but then when someone mentioned that, uh, hey, I think maybe the athletes might come in their uh, team uniforms that you wore in college. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you that whether or not I'm wearing a Speedo tonight or not. <laughs> but I did bring my goggles, so I do have those. Former 1983 first team All-America third baseman Kerry Ross kept the jokes going throughout the night. Like it was said, this is a big deal, don't screw it up. Uh, my son says don't mess up. And then most recently, uh, one of my friends over there is telling me, you probably wish you would have hit 200 now. <laughs> Jeffrey Goolsby, a pioneer for CMU cross country and track and field, gave us a few more laughs. Um, that's me, but keep in mind I'm not running 90 miles a week anymore. So, um, additionally, I don't know if any of you, I'm sure at some time of uh, your academic career, you're sitting in a class one day and you're saying to yourself, when am I ever going to use any of this knowledge? Unfortunately, my class, there were a couple math classes, but the one that's pertinent right now was a class in Anspa Hall, uh, Speech 101. So, Aside from the laughs, many of the inductees shared some of their fondest memories as a Chippewa. These are lifelong memories for the stars who once suited up in the maroon and gold. All of it stands out. Um, you know, being a freshman and coming all the way to college from Glendale, California was definitely a standout moment. My Stanford game where we um, beat them. They were ranked fifth, I believe, and started the game off. They hit a home run off of me, but we managed to pull it out and win. I think that was one of my standout games that I enjoyed. Dave Doherty remembers a moment that just slipped away during a match against Michigan State in 1983 with an NCAA tournament berth on the line. And the goalie was kicking the ball out. Uh, I intercepted the ball. The goalie came out. I went around him and I'm about five feet in front of the goal with the goalie behind me. I look behind me and as I look behind me, the ball rolls off my foot, hits the goal post, and goes out of bounds. <laughs> uh, needless to say, we went on and lost the game. And, uh, you know, sometimes the hardest lessons are the best lessons. And I learned so much playing soccer on that field that has really driven my success. For all six inductees, many lessons were learned playing intercollegiate athletics at Central Michigan University. For Jeffrey Goolsby, two seasons distinctly stand out. 88 MAC championship team. That was uh, probably the first one that we really faced some you know, adversity. And then I don't even know how to explain the 89 team with uh, the passing of our coaches, parents, that really brought a team together. Team, a word that never has an eye in it, described each of these individuals. It was that same word, team, that also stands out for softball hurler Tina Kenny Sally as she led her Chippewa squad to wins over six top 15 teams. Playing at Central was such a great memory in my life. Traveling to tournaments via bus while playing Euchre in the back, 
traveling by plane with our matching outfits on so we never lost each other. Staying at the hotels on our trips were like big sleepovers. The camaraderie that we developed on those trips and on the field were priceless. The priceless moments continued. This weekend, Doherty was the first men's soccer player inducted into the CMU Athletics Hall of Fame. You know, I was never the best athlete on the field. I wasn't. I wasn't the most talented, and, and some of my teammates here will certainly tell you that. Um, um, I wasn't the smartest player on the field, but you know what? I had drive, and a lot of the great athletes that have gotten up here tonight, it's their drive. It's, it's what's in your heart, and that's what makes, I think, an athlete or an individual successful. It's their drive. That drive certainly pushed Ryan Cunningham and his brother Casey into the Hall of Fame. Today, Cunningham is the athletics director at Farwell High School. I learned so much from so many people that has reflected into what I do each day um, as an administrator now. So I just want to say thank you to the administration. Um, I can't tell you enough how, how much um, I learned here. Laughs, memories, lessons learned, and finally some lasting thoughts were all a part of this weekend's 2010 CMU Athletics Hall of Fame in Mount Pleasant. I do have one small confession to make. Years ago, after I finished my swimming career, when I'd go to uh, central football games this time of year when we'd have the uh, inductions for the CMU Athletic Hall of Fame, I'd watch the halftime ceremonies with the uh, coaches and athletes that were being inducted, and I wondered, someday, might I be selected? Until tonight, I always thought my greatest achievement in swimming was the uh, All-American recognition that I'd received. But I want to tell you, tonight, uh, Tonight's celebration and this weekend's activities move that, to, move that to the top of the list. A lot of good things have happened to me, and most of them are connected in some way to CMU. Faith, family, support, some good choices, surrounded by good people, made a great experience for me at CMU. Thanks for this tremendous honor. I'll never forget those who helped make this possible for me and all of us to share. Thank you very much. Each and every inductee shared similar sentiments on the night. They were all honored, very surprised, and extremely excited to receive Hall of Fame recognition in athletics at Central Michigan University. They were even more proud because they got to share this tremendous honor with friends, teammates, coaches, and most of all, their families. Over the next several years, a new group of student athletes will have a chance to leave their mark on CMU athletics both on the field and inside the CMU event center. These student athletes will have a chance to continue to build on the championship culture already established by each and every member of the CMU Athletic Hall of Fame. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of the 2010 CMU Athletic Hall of Fame. For everybody at CMUChipwise.com, I'm Justin Hoff. Thanks for watching.